Alright everyone, this is Sir Victoria, and welcome back to Elden Ring at the Lake of Rot. So, got the map, cool. This is going to be an absolute pain in the ass, as I have no staunching boluses, I believe it is, and I don't have the recipe to craft them. I'm not 100% where I missed that. Uh, but that is something I'll have to find at some point for you guys. Okay. I know there's not really any special loot over there. There is loot scattered throughout this. Over there. No, right over there. We can actually see it. That big ass doorway is our goal. However, there is loot and a boss fight. So, I'm going to have to do that for you guys. Yeah. <sighs> This is gonna suck. Um, okay. Do I have... I don't have a dagger. What about... Just a light weapon that I can put a skill on? Could I put a skill on a torch? Because if I can put quick step on something that will help me a lot also I have 513,000 runes I probably better level uh, we're going to buff intelligence that'll buff our damage a bit um, what was I doing oh ashes of war uh, oh wait I can cool 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 uh, I don't have anything that can go on that. I may just not have quick step. Excellent. Looks like we are sprinting. So here's how this is going to work. I sprint out and get as far as I can with all my healing resources until I am close to death. And then I retreat. <laughs> fast, try to fast travel back. Let's go ahead and head this way first. Activate what we can. And you know, you may be looking at... <sighs> really? <laughs> anyway, you may be looking at the platform and being like, Wow, this looks easy. Why are you complaining? Uh, because there's very few of these. And rot. Alright. Yep, and that's dropping about as fast as I expected. We're already rotted, so we might as well just get moving. How many messages are you sending? Jeez. Alright, you can see the boss over there slumped in the rot. Okay, that raises that whole platform. There's one more. We're going to go ahead and fast travel back to the Grace. Now that we've got all those activated, that'll make it a lot easier to head that way in the future. <laughs> okay. Let me check... Yep, I don't have any of the talismans that increase my resistance. Lovely. Okay, so that's all active this way. 
Now, s the boss is somewhere here, and then I know there's at least one piece of loot over here that's... Or no. Actually, I don't think there's any unique loot over there. Maybe a talisman? Uh, the boss can be irritating, but there are platforms you can raise over there to fight him on to make him less irritating. Move along. Try to let my rock go down. Does any armor I have give me higher, really high immunity? 26. The Radon Helm gives me another 26. Am I wearing the highest immunity that I can? Oh, I forgot about the tree sentinel armor. Yeah, nothing else compares. I know my cosplay is ruined, but resistant. Because this place is going to be even more just bullshit to go through. Is that an ancestral follower? I don't remember him being down here. Go, 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 go. Okay, we made it. Fuck off with your death cloud. Oh god. <laughs> Hello. You come at me, you die. Do I have a better talisman? Uh, I could be getting more runes or raising attack power. Yeah, I think I'll raise attack power with successive strikes. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, we made it here. I don't know if... I don't have Mimic Tear, do I? Did I get Mimic Tear? I did. I haven't upgraded it, though. I don't know if uh, summons can get rot. Trying to remember. Oh, it's all the way over there. I see the boss. And unfortunately, the thing to raise the platforms is all the way on the other side of him. I'm not going to be able to make that without getting rotted, but I can let my bar go down so the rot activates later. Once I. I should be able to make it to that platform without getting rotted. And once I do, I'll summon Oga. Because that'll probably activate him. It's another Dragonkin soldier. Although, uh, I can't remember if this one's a higher or lower level than the Dragonkin soldier of Noxtella. I want to say that the one of Noxtella is the strongest one. Because it has a unique appearance and everything. Cool, I made it. Yeah, there's bodies with loot all around him, too. I'm definitely not making it over there without Rot. That is definitely an ancestral follower. I'm not 100% what he's doing over there, though. So, yeah, we're going to be fighting the boss and the Rot. But with Oga, should be easier... 
I think I'm also going to switch to the bow for this. I think it'll help us kill him faster. Especially if he's, you know, aggroed to Oga. Um... Yeah, those are my only two options. Okay. But yeah, we're going to summon Oga before sprinting over there, because I'm sure running past him will activate him. Alright, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do I have to grab this? There we go. That is amazing damage. Why is he coming for me? Probably because I'm doing that. Ow. I'm going to die to the rot. Yep. <sighs> Oga. I forgot Oga won't, like, run and fall. There's a stake of America? I didn't know there was a stake here. Anyway, um, I forgot that Oga won't, like, follow me. He's just going to stay respawned until something aggros. So, yeah. I probably should have let Oga aggro him a bit before I launched that second volley, but at the same time, I'm fighting Scarlet Rot, so... Wow, I'm right here! Where's the stake? I, I see the cemetery thing. Oh, the cemetery thing and the stake are both right there. They're just kind of hard to see. Okay, well, if I'm not fighting Rot, then this is a lot easier. Can I activate him? Oh, I can! Cool. You know what, big guy? That's completely fair with what I was doing to you. Oh, this is probably it. Ah, it didn't let me do what I want there. I need to buy a new controller. I really think this one's starting to give out. I've been having some trouble with my main character. Uh, because my main character, I'm running like a... I guess you... No, not really a paladin. Dra Dragon Scale Blade. That's what he drops. What does that do again? 20 dex, 12 strength. It's a... Oh yeah, it's a katana. Decent physical? Ice Lightning Sword. I need that for my main character then, because it's a dragon theme weapon, and that's the whole point of my main character, is the whole dragon theme, because I'm using all the dragon incantate. I hate losing momentum when you jump. Alright, uh, let's... Actually, no. Let's head this way. Got another enemy to kill. Once he's dead, I can progress. Forgot about you. Somberstone 6. 
I've got three. I'm not going to make it in time to fight him. That's fine if I can get over here and fight him because there's a it's either an onyx lord or an alabaster lord I'm not sure which one it is I can't remember honestly but one of them is up top and he does have he drops his sword I think checking my phone real quick Do you enjoy my wife's new uh, text tone? She hates it. I find it hilarious. Alright, before we make this run, sip some OJ. Ah, delicious. Let's get moving. You know what? I'm sure those flowers are used to craft the staunching boluses. Is it staunching? I can't check because of enemies. Being dicks. There we go. It is staunching. I don't remember where you get the thing to craft staunching boluses. I really don't. It just mirrors my meter decaying faster. <sighs> Actually, you know what? Let's just run for this. Because I know there are staunching boluses over here. And I'm pretty sure I can come back out of that way to try to head up. And it'll be a lot closer. I'll have to deal with a lot less of the Scarlet Swamp. I'm, I'm definitely going to get rotted on the way. But, like, it won't be as bad. Apple <laughs> Do, 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 do. There's something over there. I think it's a summon. Or something. A single preserving bolus. We're going to go ahead and save that because we are very close to a grace. Yes. We're going to save that for when we go up to fight the guy. So we'll swap out the sign with that because, I mean, we don't really even use our sign. Yeah, so as I said... We're probably still going to get rotted. Yeah, we're definitely getting rotted. But we are so much closer. Use item, please. Yeah, I think parts of this controller are starting to give out. Which, I mean, I've had this controller for several years, and I play daily. I, I This thing has had heavy use. So, I mean, it's understandable that it would give out at some point. Disappointing, sure, but understandable nonetheless. There's a switch, but I don't remember what it does. Nothing? Oh, this is the one that raised it. Should be showing up any moment now. There he is. Alabaster Lord Sword. 
I think it's a great sword. Yes. Uh, it does take intelligence. We actually have the stats for it. And it has Alabaster Lord's Pull. Thrust it into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, it pulls enemies in. Has higher area of effect than Gravitas, which is uh, what the Meteoric Ore Blade has. Although, I think we'll stay with the Meteoric Ore Blade rather than that. Simply because the... Oh, that's a Somberstone 9. I forgot about that. That's lovely. What are we at? We're at 8. Oh, I can upgrade it again. Um, but, uh, while, yes, the Alabaster Lord Sword is probably going to do more damage than the Meteoric Ore Blade, the whole reason we have the Meteoric Ore Blade, other than it, uh, fits our theme, is that it provides us with, uh, bleed output if we need it. That looks like a lethal drop to me. Do I not have any Rainbow Stones? Do I have the materials to craft rainbow stones? I'm surprised. That is a lethal fall. And we can't make that jump, so. You know, I understand why I can't use torrent here, but like, come on, man. can't give me the best boy and then not let me summon him. That's just mean, dog. <sighs> what was over here? I knew there was something. Automatic Warrior Cookbook 22. Is that the one that provides us with the boluses? We'll have to check once we get to the Grace and aren't dying. Well, I hope I can make it there. Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, I got one more double gulp. We may take it as we get to the Grace just to be safe. That we don't die in the action of sitting down at the grace. I mean, our runes would be right there, but I don't want to waste another rune arc. There we go. Okay. It is not. Uh, what does Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 22 give us? Are they listed here? Or Yes, they are. Uh, cookbook 22 gives us uh, Rot Pot, Rot Grease, and Drawstring Rot Grease. Okay. So we made it here, uh, right down there, we are gonna have to fight another, um, a bastard, a, uh, can't think of the damn term, the uh, ulcerated tree spirit, for that golden seed. Speaking of which, did I do... Over here, did I do... I didn't never went back to do Fringe Folk Heroes Grave, so I'm gonna have to do that at some point as well. As much as I hate it. Should be one across. Okay, he's approaching. Main concern was not getting rotted. I can summon back here, and that is amazing news because I was really going to be upset if I couldn't. I'm gonna be upset if it disappears. You know what, fuck you.
Not even gonna give you the chance. Yep. Had to run far enough back, I couldn't properly recover. I hate these things so much. That's not the attack I thought he was doing. That's what I thought he was doing. Dog, I really need you to chill out. That's gonna kill me. No, it didn't. But I'm out of healing. Kill him fast. Okay, he died. That's what I wanted. There, okay. <laughs> As long as he's dead. <laughs> I can always just go back and recover my runes. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to bother using a uh, <clears throat> rune arc just yet, just to be safe. Okay, uh, actually, I think we're going to end this episode here, and we will continue on in the next one, where we're going to go that way this time, and proceed onward. So until next time, as always, I hope everyone really enjoyed the show, and that you all have a great day.